Hi, Leo Moons. Thank you so much for being here. I am Divine Femme Carrot 144. Very happy, grateful, and blessed to bring you this reading. This reading is designed for those who have their moon sign in the zodiac sign of lovely Leo. Unlimited to anyone who should find this message or should this message find you. For this reading, I will be doing a six card spread using the Modern Witch Tarot deck. I'm also going to do an oracle card from the Everyday Witch Oracle deck. I've already pre-shuffled both decks. I'm going to shuffle this deck a couple more times and split the deck and we'll get started. I just want to say thank you to you all for your continued love and support. And I hope that you all are doing well and feeling well and staying blessed. They're really, really thick cards. I love these cards. That one was a little popper there. And that was the first card. So I'm excited to see what we have. We have the four swords. So taking a rest and healing. I feel that um, with your energy and how intense and fiery it can get, that there is a calling for a four swords energy or you're in the midst of doing this to be able to find some kind of balance there may be some kind of distress that has taken place where i do feel that you're finding much comfort in laying down seeing the the um, the daylight it could be possible too that there's some issue with sleep but I am getting overall, there is a, this is working through and moving through something where we do have four swords all together up here. Traditionally, there's only three. I feel these are speaking to each situation that one is working through where it could be um, like I'm getting with your leadership energy, working through certain cycles that are all having to have work based on um, the emphasis of truth and clarity. And it's been a long, hard fought process and you're continuing to fight and stay strong. Oops. Swords energy is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then that four energy is all about stability and then also to fourth house energy is Cancerian energy. So there could be some cusping energy in your degrees. A very loving and nurturing. I feel this is like self-care and taking care of oneself. Where this may have not been the norm. But you may have been doing quite a bit and way too much. And spirit letting you know that um, if you take a little rest... It's going to be very, very beneficial to you, even if it's in the daytime. Where I do feel for a lot of you, um, it's a must for this rest in the daytime. This could be also about meditation, too. And I'm seeing the hand across the stomach. There may be some stomach issues. Also headaches. This has given me like a dark night of the soul, like moving through this and healing from a dark night of the soul after having some issues with these um, parts of the body where this may be connected also to, to the chakras. So that third eye energy and then also the root chakra, the solar plexus, sacral chakra energy there. Red, orange, and yellow energy. That's your, and those are your colors. Those are your colors. So doing that shadow work, I feel with the Aquarius energy that we have here too with the blue, that speaking to your um, your shadow energy there too as well. Facing, facing shadows and facing fears, facing things that you may have been putting off and this being a part of that process, working through these swords and those swords of truth and this affecting your chakras bringing you into this pure state as I'm seeing the white here, but also to balance and going back to that foreign stability. 
that's being necessary for you. Because again, it's going to be very beneficial to you. It's all for your greater good. The second card we have is the pinnacle here. The ace of pinnacles, all for your greater good. So as you're working through this and finding balance, healing those chakras, especially those lower chakras, and that being um, more of the masculine energy and that energy of Leo. I do feel it's a facing of the shadows of the sword energy, which is that Aquarius energy. In doing so, we have this new beginning here with this Ace of Pentacles where an offer is coming in. I do feel with the work that you have done, you have built a strong foundation. And in that building of the strong foundation, it's able to bring in and also hold this pinnacle. This is a large amount of wealth and gain here. Pentacles energy is Earth energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And even the, the word ace could be significant. Not necessarily just pertaining to the energy of one. And with that one energy, this is that, um, that winning energy that's coming through. I'm seeing this as a sun here too as well. And then that star energy, this could be speaking to a new beginning that's starting in something that has to do with astrology or astronomy or a destiny. Tying back to the Aquarius energy, your polarity energy and the star card is what I'm picking up there too. But this being protected is being protected and this coming... Like, it's, it's being grounded. I feel with that energy of you working through your chakras, there's um, a, an essence of elevating. And in that leveling up, you're coming more into your power, being able to manifest even quicker. And this being manifested, like, almost instantly once that healing takes place. And I feel that greater awareness, that third eye opening up, And helping, and helping you to um, bring in even more of your abundance with that clarity. And with that sun energy, that tying back to you and um, sun, the sun being your ruler. This is, I, I just feel very strongly speaking to your destined purpose here. And this bringing in a very large amount of material gain. A lot of wealth here, but very um, heavy in the spiritual sense too as well, where I'm, I'm getting that soul energy coming through, a strong fathering energy. So there's some healing with those lower chakras, healing of the some kind of um, situation that may have had to do with the father and overcoming this and finding success in this, being able to bring in that greater abundance. That's going to be more beneficial for you. Mountains could be significant. I feel that's tying into that Capricorn energy very strongly there. And then also seeing the gray there. And then Cancerian energy, that being significant too. We have that coming from that four energy there. And the stability energy, loving, nurturing, intuitiveness. Very um, strong in emotion wholesome home energy so this could be dealing with the home too where this could be about a whole new beginning and a whole new life here the third card we have is the six of swords so with this i feel that um there's a moving away it's just um confirming that um with that healing being able to clear your energy and protect your space. You're able to move away from what no longer serves you. With that stability. I feel that stability that's been brought in with the work that you have done is helping you to progress and move forward. Move towards calmer waters. Six energy. There's going to be a six, six energy. And so I feel that's contributing to the balance with that heart and mind and confirming the work that was done here with this four swords energy, taking that rest, 
and doing that healing through each of those swords energies that needed to be worked on. And so there's six swords that are present here. Coming from the four swords, this is a progression that's taking place with this Ace of Pentacles in between. So moving through this process, I feel as we're going towards the Ten of Swords energy, that I feel, you know, knowing what, knowing what one, what is required of one, I feel. Being in prayer and meditation and um, being more than happy to be a volunteer um, to help make this world a better place. And so in that process, you know, these swords are, it's almost like um, acupuncture with the needles and the healing of each of those where, you know, you get the, the, the sense of the pain, but then overall, these swords are actually healing, helping one to heal, to move into a greater cycle towards better. Because this is moving towards the Ten of Swords, where that Ten is speaking to an ending, the end of, you know, pain and any kind of perspective on suffering, just being tired of what one has been in where I feel there's a wanting and a desire to level up. Because I'm seeing this boat move up here too as well, like moving upward. But also again, moving towards calmer waters. Having that friendship and that companionship. There's soulmate energy that's present here. But then also too, I'm getting balance from within. Having that balance, this is Gemini energy I'm getting with that swords energy. Being able to be strong within oneself and move oneself away from what no longer serves them. Knowing their power, I feel, with this opportunity that has come in. And then the sixth energy representing unconditional love. Sixth house energy also is a Virgo energy. So that no nonsense personality and uh, characteristic coming through there too. But a very ordained and angelic presence tied to that too. And that destiny in this Ace of Pentacles. Your fourth card we have is the Nine of Wands. So this is what I feel with this falling under the Four of Swords. This is what one was healing from. Um, it's possible that there was a Six of Wands energy where there was some fame or there is fame. Learning lessons from some kind of fame and being seen or being in the spotlight. Very strongly with your Leo energy coming through there. Nine energy, ninth house energy is Sagittarius. But then also the month of September, that Libra energy coming through here. Aligning with the Swords energy that's present. This is your energy here with the Wands energy. And then Aries Sagittarius and also a fucus energy. The wounded warrior energy, and this is an, uh, a card of a fucus here, so that could be significant for you as well. Two of wands, this is a choice on a path moving forward, healing, and in the healing, this path being offered here in this ace of pentacles here. And in that knowing, moving away from what no longer serves, I feel this is like the backstory to this four of swords here. Kind of explaining what has been going on and in this healing this production of what is going to be beneficial for you is not only producing an ace of pentacles offer but also you have manifested an ace of wand for yourself where you're i feel with what you have gained there's a reflection but also to um in that observation you're picking up on what it is that you have learned or what you are grateful for and taking that with you as you move forward. It was a rough process. I'm seeing here with the bandages and all that. Um, some kind of fashion situation is going on here too. Where that may be connected to this career energy being seen. This being a part of the purpose, I'm seeing... Um, 
these gold hills back here that kind of reminds me of egypt energy but in this nine of in nine of wands energy this is also about overcoming overcoming and then moving along on one's path having this energy of the two of wands where a choice or the i, I feel overall not necessarily a choice but um having options and being in that contemplation state and that reflectiveness and being in that reflected reflectiveness knowing which way one is wanting to go as they move forward and take action this whatever this was that happened with a career i'm getting very strongly was very transformative and eye-opening eye-opening with that third eye this hand being over the third eye there and then again going back to the lower chakras i'm getting like also to some childhood things coming up with what may have happened in one's career some kind of tie to that in some kind of way and then in, in this overcoming those three of wands here on this side here coming together to combine and produce that manifesting energy and waiting for one ships to come in after this nine of wands wounded warrior healing this is a healer energy so in that transformative energy it's also healing All right, so let's see what the six, or excuse me, the fifth card is. Got the energy of six coming through very strongly here. All right, the world. So this is a completion. And in that completion, I mean, this is the story behind the scenes here of the Ace of Pentacles. So in that completion, of overcoming in this nine of wands energy healing because you're going to be bringing in what's more beneficial for you more new beginnings here renewal and rebirth energy in this completion we're going into a new cycle this being the last card of the major arcana and the manifestation cycle so manifesting this ace of pentacle this being contributed by the divine where there's a new start and a new offer that's going to bring in a massive amount of, I feel it's going to increase your your power within your Leo self and heal something I feel that may have been imbalanced from childhood um, that had to do with your Leo energy and your showmanship and your confidence and you overcoming this as well. There may have been something affecting your confidence where you were bossing it, but I feel like under wraps, there were things that were truly bothering you and you overcame this, seeing this here. Because this also too is coming in, where you release that. And also I feel you're bringing in another individual too, a soulmate, a destined soulmate or partner. And this could be romantic or platonic or both, but it's going to be helpful to you. And I'm seeing magician energy. So this could be two magicians that are coming together. The purple energy is giving me royalty energy, but then also Sagittarius energy. And then a fucus energy here too. And we do have the O that's present here. So this is a very strong a fucus energy that's coming through. Seeing Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, and then Leo for the zodiacs that are present here. That um, polarity energy of you is coming through here. Leo and Aquarius, and then whoever you're connected to may have this energy here um, with Taurus and Scorpio in some kind of significant way in their birth chart. Where it could be that they, you know, have a Taurus energy with that polarity of Scorpio or vice versa. But this, um, in this completion, there's vulnerability here, and I feel that newness. And that energy coming from that sun energy, where we do have two circles here that are aligning. But then this being very blessed, I, I feel very strongly with this infinity symbol energy coming through and that magician energy. The magician being a one. After the fool, starting a new manifestation phase. But I, I feel very strongly this is just, it's... Um, 
confirming the divinity. And then also to the magician holds wands. I feel this is that combination of the masculine and the feminine energy and that wealth being a part of this and that abundance as well. That overall energy of a Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles shared between a masculine and a feminine who are connected with the divine, like a trinity energy here. And we have one, one, and one here with this 21, where that breaks down to a three. That being trinity energy there too as well. Three also being a number of the empress. We're all four queens. The queen of pentacles, the queen of swords, the queen of wands, and the queen of cups makes up the empress. But this is definitely, um, with this completion, this is what is coming in and coming through. And I do feel it's it's also tied to a soulmate. And this also speaking to a past life energy that is um, bringing awareness about one's true self and the royalty of two soulmates coming together, doing some healing through those lower chakras, busting through that and being able to bring in greater awareness and clarity, moving away from what no longer serves them towards greater and what is more beneficial. <laughs> Pretty sweet. Your last card we have is the King of Wands, where this is your energy. And just showing overall, you know, how you have bossed up, you have completed a cycle, you have brought in and manifested. And I do feel that, you know, this feminine energy here with this masculine energy and that Overall energy, I was getting both masculine, feminine, and the divine with that three. Seeing the King of Wands looking at this, fem this female here. And just the blessing that is surrounding. Uh, very strong. Um, I'm getting that. A Fucus energy is very, very strong for this individual here. That energy being of the Snake Charmer. And then also that Wounded Warrior energy here. With that Sagittarius energy coming back through there too. But this King of Wands is someone um, where I do feel that um, this is more of your energy with that Wands coming through, which is fire energy, that Sagittarius energy. And, it, you know, I'm getting it's like that uh, interconnectedness that's shared between both masculine and feminine energy. It's just presenting itself stronger here in this masculine. And then we have this feminine energy where it could be, you know, feminine and masculine, feminine and masculine if that makes sense. Not even paying attention to what is around you or maybe coming at you, seeing these points here that are pointing. Not even paying attention. Um, total focus is on this individual here and not just because she's naked. <laughs> but there's an ace of wand here. And that's um, giving me the mirroring energy here too with the wand here with this more feminine energy. Where that Sagittarius, I feel that energy is very strong here. I feel this is, you know, you seeing, working through and bringing in completion, but being able to reflect back and then actually see what has taken place. But in that, you're also seeing what you may have missed or what you weren't able to see because of the level that one was at. So coming into a greater level, being able to see clearer, And what a vision it is as I feel that, you know, this energy, like I'm getting like a magnetism here, adoring this energy here as one is in all their glory and very strong in their power. Same here, very strong in their power here too. A very business-like person who is strong in the community, may have several businesses, fiery energy, goes towards what they want and I feel that this is what's happening here. A destined partnership that's coming together in this energy. This is also emperor energy, four energy coming through here again, where I feel that that's speaking to both of these energies here where I do feel this is you. So beginning with the four and then ending with that four where all four kings make up the energy of the emperor. So that emperor and empress energy coming through here with that three and the empress. And then the king here being one of the kings of the emperor. 
this aligning, meaning um, more of that energy of this King of Wands, confirming you're moving away from what no longer ser what what no longer serves you. And this movement of the Six of Swords with this boat, I feel this is also speaking to that movement towards this Nine of Wands, where I'm getting this is with this female energy. Also, too, I feel this female was in the same energy here too. Moving away from what no longer serves as the Nine of Wands would follow. Moving into that overcoming. And then even greater into this with uh, the completion in the world. And the King of Wands being very strong in that fire power. Wanting to take action and make something happen with this new Ace of Wands. I feel this also speaks to just how far this King has come with what they have accomplished as well. And now wanting to move into that completion here with this Ace of Pentacle beginning where I do feel this is being offered and a part of this Ace of Pentacle offer here has to do with this Empress energy in the middle of this wonderful wreath here in the world card speaking to a new manifestation cycle that is beginning to our aligned and connected side by side here in this reading. Also in different ways as well, but with the King of Wands, I mean, it's pretty obvious here seeing the stare here and the gaze. It's a very strong gaze and this feminine energy is very powerful. All right, so I feel that with this overall, just speaking to the process of your journey, moving through Dark Knight, facing one's shadows, moving greater into your power and doing so and offers here because you've moved away and released from what no longer serves you, overcoming along the way you are connecting with the feminine energy. If you're, you know, having more of that masculine energy, because we do have feminine energy here where I, speak, I feel that speaks to the balance within oneself. But seeing the feminine and the, the masculine here and the power of this being manifested as these being the last two cards, I'm getting overall that your energy is more of a stronger masculine energy that is connecting and bringing in a physical feminine energy. And it's all um, going to be a part of this Ace of Pentacle new start that is bringing in a great amount of abundance. Let's do your Oracle card reading. I've already shuffled. So I'm just going to go ahead and see what we get here for Leo Moon. Leo Moon. Leo Moon. Wonderful. Look at that. Prayers and wishes. I love this. What a soulful reading this is. Where I feel that this energy stands for both that feminine and that masculine. But then we did get that from this Four of Swords energy. This is wonderful. I'm going to put this here over this Ace of Pentacles. And then let's find the reading for this. And we will read what we have. This is nice. So this is in the air section of Thought and Communications. It's um, numbered 8. And then it's on page 49. So we have the energy of 8. And 49, 4, and 9 comes to a 13, which then also brings us to a 4. 4 is for stability. So 444 four, four coming through for this reading. Number 8, affirmation for... Oh, excuse me. Uh-oh, we got the wrong one. My bad. <laughs> We're two pages behind, so no. Sorry about that. It's 47, page 47. <laughs> That could be significant, though. I feel that you may have a double message coming through there. So this is a number seven. And with number seven, we have prayers and wishes. A spell is much like a prayer. Let me pause the music here. A spell is much like a prayer. It is a way to send your hopes and thoughts and wishes and worries out into the universe to gain the attention of a deity with the power to help. Sometimes prayers are just general wishes. Please make this better. I wish I had more money. If only I could find love. Sometimes they are addressed to a particular god or goddess or to the universal powers that be. No matter how you look at them, 
We all have moments when, no matter what form they take, we need to put out a prayer or a wish and hope for an answer. The action required here is to think about what you really need or want in your life. Not the little things, but the stuff that is really important to you. Then as many of us did when we were children, wait for the first star to rise in the night sky and send your wish out with all your energy saying, star light, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might, have the wish I wish tonight. The divination is if you get this card, it may be telling you it is time to ask for help from a greater source, or perhaps it is a hint that you should put more energy behind the prayers and wishes that really matter to you and start working on making those wishes come true. The magic, if a spell is a kind of prayer, then putting your prayers and wishes into a spell is the perfect way to go. Figure out what you really want to ask for and write it down on a piece of paper. Bless the prayer with the power of air by waving a feather over it or waf wafting, <laughs> wafting it with incense or sage. Then say, I pray for dreams and wishes true. For help from the gods above, I ask these wishes old and new with perfect trust and love. Hold the paper in your hands and put all the energy from your prayers into it and then make it into the shape of a paper airplane and send it sailing out into the world. If you can't do that, you can sail the airplane to your altar or some other safe place. Okay, so Leo Moons, this was your wonderful reading. I hope that these messages were helpful for you and enlightening and empowering. There's a very strong connection here where I do feel that with the prayer, prayers and wishes card coming out, two individuals are connecting with each other and wishing to come closer together. I feel this is confirming that the connection is closer than both of these individuals think and feel. There is a completion with this feminine energy present. And then that strength coming through and that mirroring energy, showing how strong one is in this King of Wands energy here as, as well. Speaking for both feminine and masculine energy in that strong connection to the divine. Seven energy, meaning being on the right path. Um... Yeah, and just a very strong telepathic communication. I feel trust the process, trust your intuition, and all will be well. I wish you all the very best, and um, I thank you all so much for being here. Until we meet again, take great care. I love you. Peace.